watching West Harford Community Television. You're watching West Harford Community Television. You're watching West Harford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Hello and welcome to ShopRite's Be the Media program. My name is Chuck Joseph and my family owns the ShopRite of West Arkford. In this segment, you'll see local stories about our community as told by local residents of all ages. As a resident and business owner in West Arkford, our ShopRite team is proud to support Be the Media. My family opened our store with the mission to have a positive impact on the community, and we are pleased to share that mission with you today. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the show. Two thousand sixteen has definitely been quite a trying year. With so much sadness and loss in the world, it can be hard to remain optimistic and positive. However, with today being National Gratitude Day, we were eager to hit the streets of West Hartford to talk to its residents. Are you aware that today is World Gratitude Day? Honestly, I had no idea. I did not. Nope. I had no idea. No. no. I do now. <laughs> Once we got West Hartford residents thinking about gratitude, we were curious to find out their definition and just what they're grateful for. I think gratitude is the difference between like living a happy life and a very, very sad one. Being aware of something that you've been blessed with or somebody's given to you. Taking something, appreciating it, and giving it back. Gratitude is expressing that you are grateful, that you're thankful for the things you have. That's, that's, the best, that's the best definition I can give for gratitude. What is something that you are grateful for every single day in your personal life? I'm honestly grateful to be living in a great environment. Um, I'm grateful that people... Uh, my family and uh, my home. For a job that I enjoy. <laughs> well, the fact that I can wake up and walk, <laughs> that's for sure. That I got food and water. I was actually adopted, so that's pretty huge. Um, my parents had five kids of their own and then adopted five more. So I come from a pretty long line of uh, gracious people and people who are always out trying to do more. Although these residents have a lot to be grateful for, we wanted to know if there was ever a time that they took that gratitude for granted. Uh, there are times that I felt ungrateful for my job. I think that that's a common thing when, you know, things happen and you're like, why is this happening to me? You know, we sometimes forget that the things we have in this nation are things that are privileges to people in other nations. Us Americans, we should be more appreciative of the surroundings that we have. Even to even have a fountain water is free water. You know, there's people that have to walk a half a mile to even have a glass of drink that's not guaranteed that would be filtered. Yeah, it definitely helps to shift the perspective to gratitude. Now that you are aware that it is World Gratitude Day, what are you going to do going forward to, to be gracious or pass that gratitude along to anybody else? Help people out um, let people know that life is short and that to try to give each and every day to live it up to the fullest. Have a great attitude and share love and happiness with people that I see. I'm going to say thank you to someone extra that I would not have done otherwise. Do what I can for small acts of kindness and bigger acts. I guess it's something that I have to keep up. Uh, yeah, I think I'll bring it up with my family tonight, give a couple extra hugs. The West Hartford community gathers on a beautiful Saturday night in Blueback Square to listen to a free concert performed by up-and-coming artist Brian Jarvis. Night for a walk and heard about the music tonight, so I figured I'd bring my dog and hang out a bit. Locals came to the concert to watch Jarvis perform his original songs. 
Although the audience had never heard of Brian Jarvis before attending the concert, they left as fans. No, I haven't heard of him before. Are you a fan now? Um, no, I didn't hear about Brian, but I always check out people. The concert, running about two hours long, also promoted Jarvis's first album entitled Beautifully Broken, which fans could take freely. Jarvis's music reaches out to fans of all types of music. I'm really indifferent. I mean, I don't prefer one kind of music over the other. It's just... Um, for something like this, just something with good energy, like this is just really nice music. It's relaxing, people enjoy it, makes you smile. Something, anything that makes you smile, so. Uh, he, he's wonderful. He's a great concert. For more information on Brian Jarvis's album and next free concert, visit his website, gojarvis.com. by a woman named Edna Ruth Byler. Um, we have about 70 stores here in the country. Um, they still uh, do uh, festival sales around the country, uh, mainly in states where there aren't so many stores. Uh, these are always run by a third party, sometimes church groups. Um, and uh, we also wholesale on behalf of our artisans to other fair trade stores. We sell uh, gift items of uh, all sorts. Uh, we have uh, things for your home, we have jewelry and accessories uh, that you can wear, um, and uh, even practical items like uh, dishcloths and pitchers uh, that uh, are beautiful and also practical. Um, we do have a lot of uh, gifts with meaning. Um, sometimes the meaning is um, from the people who made it and the stories behind them, and sometimes it's in uh, the use of the object itself. And our customers are uh, wonderful. Uh, we uh, have a lot of return customers that tend to come to us for every important gift. We, we do have a uh, 10,000 Villages in West Hartford uh, Facebook page. There's a separate 10,000 Villages Facebook page for our main office, but if you search for 10,000 Villages in West Hartford, you'll find it. I don't know if any of the gift shops here in the center will have things from 36 different countries, um, but we do, and we can tell you about the artisans who made them, and we can tell you um, about what materials they used and uh, the eco-friendly benefits of them. <laughs> Right now, one of the things that we're uh, really trying to bring attention to and uh, feature is our crafts from Haiti, uh, since our uh, artisans in Haiti were um, hit with uh, another disaster. I will actually pull it in the words of one of our artisans uh, yeah. that I've uh, heard repeated many times um, and seen written down, and that is that um, our, that our pieces are art with a human touch deep inside that uh, every single per uh, piece has uh, had somebody's hands uh, holding it. We do have quite a few sales uh, planned, yeah. and I would say um, a best play uh, the best way to know about those is uh, to join our mailing list, which you can do right on our website, 10,000villages.com, um, or in the store, and uh, that way you get uh, updates on all of the sales, because uh, uh, they do have quite a few plans for the yeah. season, uh, just to get an extra incentive for people doing their holiday shopping this year. I think it's incredibly important to vote. It's our biggest civic duty. I think this is such an important election. That's our civic responsibility and, uh, you know, the decisions that we make obviously, you know, dictate what happens in our country. I think it's very important to vote, especially for um, me and the kids because so many people fought in order to give people like us, African Americans and women, women the right to vote. So I think it's absolutely our civic duty and um, I think it's our job. And so that's why I bring my children with me to every single election to make sure they know to exercise their vote. Well, uh, it may seem like your vote doesn't count in the grand scheme of things, but um, being part of the process and considering all the candidates, 
Um, it's, it definitely gets you more involved. I always seem to think that uh, presidential elections is, is a good way to, to get into, you know, uh, participating more, knowing more about your local candidates, and, um, and really uh, getting to know the, the laws of your uh, district and, and so forth. I think it's really important to vote because the rights of a lot of people are in jeopardy in this election. So if you don't vote, you're really not helping a lot of people who need your help. Never missed a presidential election, never missed a local election. I vote every year, every time. Why are you here today? Because I would vote and get sicker. Okay. <laughs>
got us started. Avon Democratic Town Committee and Brian and the Farmers of Town Committee. So you guys, those numbers are yours. Martin Luther King, right, once said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. You just can't set it on autopilot and say, you know what, that's, it's just, that's the arc and we're just gonna get up in that jet stream. It happens because of all of you. Thank you all very, very much. I, I really appreciate all your support. My wife, especially Judy, uh, and, and my family, my, my daughter Kaylee and my kids, and uh, um, uh, Leon Davidoff, who was my campaign manager, and Lexi. Talk to the public court by phone or in person. They're probably tired of me there. John Bailey and Bev Brakeman, who were my co-chairs. All of the specific campaign managers, uh, Peter Andrews, Mike Pearsall, uh, Jess Tyberski, all of you guys. I want to thank you, Kevin Sullivan, uh, for being a, a, just a great friend, a wonderful mentor. Uh, thank you. I, I can't thank you enough. Uh, every, every day. Every day. I want to thank my wife, who I've been gone for the last three months, virtually every day. Um, honey, I'll be home tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know if that's good news, but thank you. I love you, honey, and thank you for letting me do this. candidates for running. Yeah. I want to congratulate Gail Crockett who cannot be here this evening because first of all let me just say um, thank you to everyone uh, who did so much hard work. <laughs> Kevin knows No, I'm just laughing at that. You know, right. It all depends on where you sit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, to all of you who worked so hard I knew about everyone's effort. Derek you are like the inner I mean, I didn't get to see you much, but I had all of your literature. Saw you on Facebook and everywhere, so I kept track of everyone back. Um, and same thing with Joe and uh, and you. I know you were there morning, noon, and night. And where is Stu Mahler? Because Stu, thank you so much. Thank you to everyone here in this town and to this great Democratic uh, committee. I can tell you that Deb and Bristol, they admire everything that we do. Um, and uh, listen, I'm looking forward to being your Democratic Registrar of Voters. I think that uh, we have not had a, uh, a team that went out and ran the way these three guys did in years. And I hope that you guys all realize that. So I just want you to please give a, a round of applause and a cheer. Uh, the numbers are not the way we wanted them to be, and it is a tough town, but uh, I can't believe the job they've done. I mean, it started back in the spring, and once they got nominated, they went out and they hit the road. And the only way you can change minds is face to face. Uh, Rob started right away. 4,000 houses. Chris Barnes, 5,000. Yes. yes. Uh, Mark Merritt, how many houses? Oh, 4,000. Yes. Right? It's amazing. And uh, yes. I just want to thank you for doing a great job. But I will say one thing. Might be the numbers may not look the way we want to be. And the Republican Party in West Hartford, we may not win. We're not down. 
and then we're not buried. We're coming. We're gonna come back, and we're gonna win. Because I hate losing <laughs> more than anything in the world. Um, and I want to thank, like, not even them, their families. You know, every time I have a conversation with Mark and Rob and Chris, I said, "Is your family into this?" I said seriously, because I know that when I ran, you know, just. When you, you, I'm the chairman of the party, and you lose a race like I did, and then you become chairman. Peter Martin ran, lose, uh, lost a race, he became chairman. So, <laughs> um, I don't want to be no, chairman. I don't want to be chairman. <laughs> and I'm not getting it up yet. Okay, so that's, 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 I'm not going yet. Well done. <laughs> but I remember my conversation with my wife about the whole thing, and I said, and she's like, really? I'm like, yeah. So. Thank you to your family, uh, guys. You did a great job. Thank you. Yes. Again, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you for part, being a part of the team. Mike Lee, Hannah, and Benjamin. Thank you very much for being there. My staff, Chris Sire, Monica Gold. You know, thank you to my advisory team. Thank you for being there. But more importantly, I want to thank the people of West Hartford, Farmington, and Burlington, and Bluefield that did understand that we need change in Connecticut. Yes. I really thank you for that opportunity. I really hope to send the message to folks that we need change in our state because we need to be there. And I need Adam to be there for me as well. Because evidently, I forgot Adam. I don't know how I can forget Adam. He's my twin. But no, um, we really need change in the state. We need to get on a better path. And I really think that we set the example of how we need to make change and having a plan to go forward. I really hope that uh, my competitor really takes that message home to the State House and really tries to drive a new change for us because we need it. We need people to stay here. We need businesses to thrive. Yes. And I want to thank all of you for being here tonight. I want to thank Sonic Empire for being here and playing earlier on. Yeah, and so Sonic. they rock at KP. And so thank you very much for everybody. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I didn't, most of you didn't know me, I certainly didn't know these guys uh, for five or six months ago. Uh, and I have a whole new appreciation for just the, the good, decent men that they are. Um, we're very fortunate to have Chris on the council, and uh, I hope we continue to do so. Can we give him a round of applause, please? And, uh, I heard nothing but good things about this guy on the trail, and uh, we also need to do the same for, thing for Mark as well. My mom already went home for the evening. She doesn't like to be a loser, so she left. So I love her. She's like, don't want to play her in the back and she cheats. Um, so anyway, but I need to thank her. Uh, I need to thank my wife, Gail, my uh, campaign manager, Rich, Brian, uh, anyone else that volunteered that I'm not mentioning you, please. I appreciate you. Um, it's been a whirlwind of an experience for me. It's something I always wanted to do in my life, and I feel very at peace um, with what happened today. Um, but what I'd like to do in, um, in my experience is, when I've got a large group of you, is uh, say if, 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 you're, if you're dissatisfied with the results today, which I certainly am, um, let's do something about it. Uh, things can change. We may have not gotten the result that we wanted today, but if you really wanted us to be here in two years having a different feel, you can't just leave today and then come back in two years. Um, there's great potential in this town for change. I saw it firsthand. I've been knocking on all those doors. People want change. It's hard. Um, but we can't do it alone. And Chris and Mark and I, we, we busted our asses off. Pardon my French. Um, and the change didn't occur. But that doesn't mean it can't. And it doesn't mean it won't. But if you're standing here tonight and you're like, it's time to see change, then I encourage you, I urge you, and I ask you please to support candidates in the future, not only for municipal, like town council, but when we're here again in a year and a half, don't be here having the same experience. Get out, get loud, get involved, and make a difference. Everybody, thank you so much.
thanks everyone for being here and thanks to Mark and, and to Rob for running great campaigns and um, I hope you bear with me for a second while I just say some thank yous um, for people that worked tremendously hard during this campaign season in the last six months. I'd like to start with my wife, Stephanie, who's my campaign manager. operated by the Joseph family. Our store is completely remodeled and offers a variety of high quality products and exceptional value. You can find us at the corner of Kane and Prospect and experience our mission of having a positive impact on our associates, customers, and community.